Hello everyone, welcome to the AI Artist TV and Happy New Year. I, I hope you had an amazing uh, holiday, amazing New Year uh, celebrations, New Year's Eve and uh, welcome to 2023 and welcome to AI Artist TV. And uh, if you are in the middle of the year already, it's in the future, for, of course. Uh, I hope you're already having a great year and you're having an amazing year uh, so far. Okay, so guys, um, for me, it was very good. Those seven days, around seven days, we just take a small vacation, and I could research up a lot of things. And one thing that I that I that I research a lot, and I would like to start having this conversation with you guys, is that uh, first thing is that uh, I'm pretty much not a videographer or experienced uh, YouTuber or anything like that. Uh, so I don't know how to do all those effects, all those beautiful things that people make in other videos. And uh, I don't have amazing camera. I'm using headphones. I'm not preparing myself too much to make any video because I'm much more worried to put content out. And uh, and I, uh, this for me is the most important part, to communicate, to help you, to, to give you ideas and all those things, how, how it works. And um, with time, I will be getting better. With time, I, I promise you guys and girls that that I, that I will be studying a little bit more how to make better videos, how to make a better a better a better presentation, and everything like that. And uh, but I, by the way, I bought a, I bought I invested in a microphone, so I will be not using this headphone forever. I'm, I'm, I will get better at this because I'm I, I'm really enjoying uh, having this contact with everyone here and communicating what I'm doing, what I think that we could be doing to make us better AI artists. Okay, so. Uh, on that subject, today I'm, I'm, I'm planning to start this year uh, doing this video number seven and doing something which is, for me, the way I see, very, very important. And uh, it really changed the way I work with, with, with Mid Journey. And I will continue covering only mostly Mid Journey here. For me, it's still being something that I'm, that I have time to invest, invest in. Um, and this is something which, which, which I, I think it's extremely important um, to do because I one thing that's going to be very easy to happen in this new world of AI is you really can get overwhelmed about the level of information and things possible to be done. So I, I, I felt that myself as well. And especially if only work with me journey, I already get amazed with the possibilities. If I start working with stable diffusion, invoke and Dolly, all the other things that have for just for art, I, I will be get I, I will be get overwhelmed. So I will continue covering so far only me journey here. And in this world of me journey, which has a lot of things to do, I would like to start this to this year today, um, showing how I organize myself. Oh my God! Yes, today I'm not maybe not giving you any specific tag, any specific trick, but I think it's very good to 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 get yourself organized. So, first thing, this is only possible to do if you if you have. Uh, Paid. You have the paid subscription for Mid Journey. One of the advantages, and for me, the biggest advantage that you that that you have when you pay a subscription to Mid Journey is having the ability to invite Mid Journey bot to your channel. So when you're a payer, uh, when when you're when a subscriber, uh, you can go to to any any Mid Journey channel where we have the Mid Journey bot. For example, I'm here in one channel of, of Mid Journey. I can take my camera out of this too to make it easier. Hold on, take this out and put this back here. So I can go to a channel with, with me. See, I'm getting better on, on, on controlling YouTube <laughs> studios. So I can come here on any channel of, of, of me journey. I can click at the me journey bot here. And since I'm paying for, for it, I have a add to server button here, which I can press and invite me journey to one of my, one of my, my channels. Um, so, if I create a channel already, and, and create a channel is very easy as well, you can scroll down your list of channels here and click on this plus button here and click add server. You create a server your own. You can put uh, for a club or community. You can put any name you want to add here and picture if you want to add some picture and create a channel. When you do that, uh, you're going to have a channel like this one I have here, uh, which you're going to have all the, you can create, delete, channels, categories, etc. And it will make our life much easier. So today uh, I will be showing the way I organize myself. That's not necessarily the way that you should organize yourself as well. If you're more than welcome to, to, to organize exactly the way I organize myself. But that's not the only way. 
And but I hope this gives you some ideas. Uh, it it spark you with some ways. Oh my God, I maybe I should do a something like that. And uh, if you are not if you are not yet uh, doing the uh, doing a channel for yourself to get yourself organized, let me explain you some advantages of this. First advantage. It's more peaceful to work with, with by yourself. Uh, even if, if even if you are just if you are just sending uh, by yourself, but you are talking in private mode with the the mid journey bot that you can do as a pair as well. It's, uh, it's only one feed. The advantage of having a channel you can organize in many different channels and feeds. The infinite number of channel feeds that you can be talking with mid journey bot. Um, so that allows you to really to really separate your projects. And I will be showing this. And the other advantage is this, the peaceful. You, you, you do, okay, now it's just me and me journey. It's not all this mass of many people using me journey and trying to, to prove, to, 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 you try to find your art in the middle of something. Okay, so after that, after you create a channel and invite me journey bot, uh, you're going to be able to click here and cl right click on this area of, 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 of the Discord and create channel and create categories. So what you see now here is my categories. Okay, so the way I, I develop, and by the way, I have a channel before this one, which was we got messy in time, and I could learn to understand what's really a kind of organization that I need. So, the organization that I have here, I, I divide in six main categories that have channels inside of those categories. So, you have a server, categories, and channels. So, I have my, my categories project, study, research themes, reference, and collection, and I'm going to be walking to each of them, what kind of channels I have on those, and what I do with each of those. Okay, the first one is projects. Project is pretty much um, projects with, I divide, I divide in, 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 different, in different categories, where they are pretty much kind of projects that I'm working on. Um, so those, the projects that, I, that, I, that I've been working on mostly, they are or, or portraits, or characters, scenes, or photography. So I have those four uh, ones. Uh, let's let's say if I was working into web design, probably would have web design category here. But I never had to do any project in web design. Never felt myself compelling to develop something. And projects understand that projects something that it has an end. You know that to what you want to create, and you're gonna be doing a series of interactions with the prompt until you get the prompt that you want that give the result you want or the results you want and you're going to have a project done so i i keep those i don't divide by the name of the project because i i, I could learn by my other channel that sometimes it has projects on the same field that I was working on that have some tags that I want. So it's got easier for me to find when I, when, 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 I, when I am in the same field, I can scroll up and by timeline, I can see that there it goes. If you want to create a portrait, different name of the channel, I do so many projects that I, that I, that's my, 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 my project line will have 20 channels, so that doesn't work. So what really worked for me is just separating the type of category of, of projects that I put there. So projects, I have an idea. I know where I'm going, and and I'm and I'm gonna be interact with this tag. I'm gonna be using I, I'm gonna be using one of those channels here. By the way, I can put my camera big again, because it's not something. Okay, I, I, yeah, let me put it here. because it's not something that I will that I will be open the channel. So. Uh, so those are those are the project. It's a category project, project that I put here. I have a general one, just general ideas that I, that I want to work on. It's not specific as well. Okay. The next one that I have here is study. I cannot zoom in this. No, I cannot zoom in. Uh, the second thing that I, that, I, that I have here is is uh, what I, what I call study. Uh, study is when I want to study something more technical. Okay, if something technical that I want to understand, so for example, here I have four studies that I have done lately, renders, photographers, and lights. Um, and and uh, normally photographers, I, I will put here in references that this is wrong here. This is not supposed to be here, this is in reference. So renders, lights, and nice. So they are very specific things. Uh, of course, my other channel of study have way more stuff that I have been studying, where I've been recording stuff as well. But these are the three ones that I have done lately since I create this new organization, which for me is working very well. So renders, I want to test what it's okay. Render does, what Blender render does, what different kind of oops, what a different kind of renders does. I, I I use this channel here to to study all that. And uh, uh, 
everything that is technical i will be creating channels here so it's i just click this plus button here let's say i want to i want to i want to do a studio I, i'm about to do a, a, a studio about stock film so for example put here stock films I will be using, I, I will be testing here different kind of photography films. I will be testing the difference between them. I will be doing this on the study. That's where I study the different things. And I can always go back here and see how was my study, my results, and come that. So this is my study category and my study of, of very specific things. The other one that I have here is, is what I call research. Research is a little different uh, uh, because research is normally come from something that I collect somewhere. And I want to research about this. So there are three types of research that I normally do to learn. So one is general tests. I have an idea and I want to research about this idea. So I just start, I put a prompt. It's not a specific project. So different than a project that I put a prompt as well, I start working on to get a result. I am not doing the idea. I have not sure yet where, where, where is it going. It's just a research that I'm doing. I want to test if something works. I want to test if my journey understands something. So this is what I call research. I put here on general test and I start testing. The second one that I have here is to consider. Uh, to consider something that I found in the community amazing. Someone did something amazing. I go to the top one, the hot ones, and even the, the, the new ones on the, on the community at the Midjourney website. And I found, oh my God, I want to consider that for the future. I save to consider. So if, if everything amazing there, sometimes I see that, that someone did something that I never thought about possible. I want to consider that for the future. I put in this consider that, that I will be researching how the person did, what is it that she did, what he did, or what is the what what, what was the the, the prompts I, I collect the, the prompts to 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 start using on other projects. So this is to consider the research. The number three that I have here research is is I call to decompose. It's pretty much when I watch when I see something that someone did on the community as well. And there are two classic cases. The first classic case is a gigantic uh, prompt, which has a lot of repetition, a lot of, a lot of things written there. The result is amazing, but I see that we just need to be decomposed because there are some things here that are not even being considered by me journey. And I wanted to, 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 to clean up and I start decomposing this this thing, okay. And then and then I, I go taking parts and I see the result if it's changing, and I understand the the, the process in the end. I, I can tell you this. I already I already pick up uh, on the community a uh, very nice result, amazing results by a gigantic tag, where I end up with a two line tag and the very same result. So I call it decompose. And by the way, I think in very very in near future I will make a a a, a video. Needed. By the way, I might be even sooner uh, about the text that or names or words that the journey ignores. Don't understand, uh, and people use a lot of those. Uh, uh, I can give, I can give, I, I can, I can give you one right now. Art, one that I like a lot. Just, just, just as, 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 a, as uh, art. Art station trending, art station trending art, or something like that. that people put some time. That this is totally, totally ignored by by me journey. So. Uh, so that, that kind of things I, I work on, on, on decompose. Um, the other one that, I, that the next one I have here is theme. Theme is something that I want to play around the theme. So it's pretty much a, a wild area which I will be playing with the theme to create a project, to create a product, to create something. Okay. So this is the, this is where I, I will be. For example, I have here Marvel, Star Wars, Cats, Formula One, NFL, sports, fantasy, World War Two. So I'm I'm playing with those themes. The themes I like that that, that that have something to do with me or some person that I'm thinking. So I'm probably gonna be testing there. I want to test which tags works better, which reference work better, and what kind of of things I can make or pictures, whatever. I know we were playing that. Normally, after play with the theme, they become a project. They can become a project, which which I, I will be doing, or I will, I will explain collection in, in, in very soon. So theme is pretty much wild wild playground for me, but I want to separate. Why separate? Because in the future, I want to reference those things as well. I know exactly on which or which draw it is, how my plays about this. So I create theme. And theme is a channel that I can go creating more and more and more. It's not it's not a problem. Uh, for example, I, I here create NFL and sports because I have to do so much thing about NFL lately that I'm trying to do that I, that I, that I, I separate from sports. But 
everything else is, 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 is I could be inside sports, things like that. So you can create more specific you want, but generate uh, different themes, different areas that I can that I can play with a playground for for playing with themes that I, that I like. Okay. References is something very important for me as well. I think this is one of the biggest things about 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 me journey, uh, and uh, is the, the the AI by the way uh, ability to to use reference. So here, all the it's very similar to study, but here I'm not studying about technical terms how me journey interprets. How see here I'm learning about and understanding the reference I can use. Reference I can use about photographers, artists. Uh, aesthetics, games, movies, etc. Here is where I test. Um, I, 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 I try not to be uh, understanding exactly what has been studied by 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 the by the by the by the AI already. What the AI really understand how to how to work on and what kind of limits they work on. Uh, and uh, and and I and I'm by the way I'm I'm documenting all this. I'm, I'm creating some material that I'm soon gonna be sharing in the AI artist channel uh, here in the squad. But this is where I keep all the all the studies about the references. I I create a, this channel here, and I can also always come back and see again. And what what those those reference gave me, uh, and the last one that I put here, and this is for me one of the most important. Uh, when I finish something, when many times you have been working on on play with a prompt, they say, you know what, I love this result here. I don't see anything. I don't know anything else I can do to make it better. It's exactly how, as I wanted. So what you do? You normally save this picture on your hard drive, which is very valid, of, of course, and I save as well. But the other thing that I do besides that, I start to create a collection of my prompts that work exactly as I wanted. And for me, it's almost like a state of art prompt that that that, that create the, the result that I want. So that I put in collection. So I have a collection of photographer of, of, of photographies that I did, of illustration that I did, of paints that I did, that I put all of them here. As as well, I, I might I have them saved on my hard drive or my on my folders uh, so what happens is that when I put that in collection I can come back later and I can try to improve by something that I learned of course when you when you do that uh, in a picture you can do as well you can open Photoshop etc and and, and and improve that picture but I uh, this just happened to me that I learned a new a new a new stock film name that I can use a, a Kodak one that, 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 I, that I can use for photography which does gave a much better result than the one I was using I came here and I and I, and I changed my collection of some of those photographies with the, with this new with this new new tag and which was amazing so this I keep my collection of prompts I would say like this a collection of prompts which get generate the results that, that, that I want uh, and this is, uh, there's another collection, there's another category that I'm not creating here right now because I'm not doing this, but I will definitely will create this category very soon. It's a category called products. Okay, by the way, let me show you how to create. There's a new category that, I, that, 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 that I'm going to create here. And I will create right now for you guys to see the process called products. Uh, and this category is products here. I would say it's similar to projects. I will be drag and drop here. It's similar to projects, but here is when I'm start creating products to sell, to commercialize on e-commerce, on, on websites, and things like that. I think it's valid to have a, a category of products, so you start creating products as well. I had thought about that, have used before, and I just didn't create it yet because I, I, since I created this channel, it was a little before the vacation, didn't make that. So guys, this is how I'm organizing myself. This is how I suggest you to organize uh, yourself. Uh, I'm giving you the ideas about projects, study, research, themes, reference, collections, and our products, things you can separate. That's a big advantage. You have Mid Journey Bot working for you on all the channels that you create here. It is, it is a big advantage of having it uh, using uh, organized way. The volume of information you're generating now, generate now with, with Mid Journey, although it keeps stored at the website, um, it's much better to have here as well a certain, I would say, a lab control, a lab room that you can use for different kind of projects. Organization is one, one important part, and it will be a very important part more and more working with the volume of information and valuable information and valuable results we are having with AI. Guys. This is my first video of 2023. I hope it helps. Uh, this can evolve. Maybe I can do another one in the future. This is, has been work for me very well lately as a result of the one I have been doing before. And I hope you guys like. See you guys next video. And keep enjoying, keep evolving as an AI artist. And see you guys soon giving more, more, more 
techniques and, and things that we can do very cool I've, I'm very cool things coming and I hope you guys stick together hit the like button subscribe and let's keep let's keep on that journey let's keep walking that journey together bye bye